Well, Bradley C. Weston, uh, Battalion Commander for 1st Battalion, 2nd Marines. Operations Watkins Glen was uh, part of the overall defense of Bastion Leathernet Complex. Uh, and it's our forward most elements going out and disrupting the enemy uh, in and about the areas that surround uh, this complex. After about five or so minutes, if nothing suspicious happens, we'll probably just let them go. Recently, after closing PB Boldak, we, we drew a lot of our forces out of the battle space. Uh, so the message we wanted to send the enemy is that even though we may not be living out in the battle space, we still have the capability of going out and affecting the battle space with our forces. So what we wanted to do is get Charlie Company back out there uh, to do just that, affect the battle space with the amount of force that we have. The second piece of it was not only are we going to get out in the battle space effective, but we're going to spend some time out there. Uh, we have the capability of spending four to five days, if we need to, out in the battle space and fighting the enemy. And that's exactly what we did during Watkins Glen. Well, I think the Marines and Sailors continue to perform extremely well. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a tough mission. We have a lot of constraints on rules of engagement um, and, and the ROE. Uh, it's just very tough for the Marines to perform and do well. And they, they take those constraints uh, and they do extremely well uh, in employing their weapon systems appropriately. Uh, so I couldn't ask more from the Marines and Sailors. They're doing great stuff. I think we always take pride in our Marines, whether we think it's a success or not. Uh, we ask a lot from these young guys. Um, we tell them to go out and face an enemy and make life and death decisions, and they, they do an amazing job. So uh, to say that I'm happy or I'm sad is not really appropriate. It's just uh, I'm proud of the Marines and the sailors. Um, they're, 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 they're performing in a professional manner, and they're getting the job done. I couldn't ask more from them. Uh, but if things go as they have been, uh, I think come the end of this mission, uh, one two will be extremely successful and they'll be remembered for such. Uh, it will go down in history as being the, the last infantry battalion uh, to close out Afghanistan for the Marine Corps, and I think that'll be a great thing. Uh, I know families probably get worried uh, knowing that their young Marine or sailor is out there uh, fighting the bad guys, but uh, they don't need to be worried. Uh, they've got each other backing each other up, uh, and they've got the skills to be successful, and they're doing just that. So the families can rest assured that the Marines will continue to do a great job. Uh, we'll be home soon.